guys. Uh, let's see what's going on today. Uh, today is Tuesday. It is December 29th. Um, and it's been a while since I've done a vlog because uh, there's nothing really going on. There's not much to vlog about these days, but uh, today I'm running a couple errands and I'm gonna go draw them a little bit this afternoon. So I figured it might be fun to bring you guys with me and uh, we can just kind of hang out today. Cool? Cool. First thing I gotta do is get a haircut and I'm late, so uh, we better get going. Okay, yeah, feeling good about that. Shout out to my guy, John, at Floyd's in North Loop. Uh, he always does a really good job with my hair. Okay, it's off to my apartment for lunch, and then we'll continue on our really fun and exciting day. things I was able to do this year was uh, I well, bought myself a new drum set uh, and I kind of built a studio room for me to play drums in um, you know you definitely you can't do that in an apartment building like the one I live in so I had to have a dedicated space for me to practice and record and make videos and stuff so uh, we're gonna head there Right now, I actually have to stop at Target first to pick up a couple things for said studio, uh, but then we'll head there and uh, maybe record a video today. So, should be fun. It can be pretty difficult to go to Target and only leave with the things that you needed. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna do my best today. Looking for frames. Okay, I did it. I got two power strips and a frame. Um, I'll explain what the frame is for in a little bit. Hi, uh, can I get a grande Irish cream cold brew, please? Uh, okay. Um, call me basic or whatever, but I love Starbucks. So good. Okay, so uh, I think, you know, like a lot of people, I tend to do a lot of thinking and, and reflecting while I'm driving. Um, and during the drive here, I was just thinking a lot about this year, 2020, um, and just how shitty it was. Okay, maybe, okay, maybe I shouldn't say that. Just, just how transformative it was. Just to name a few of the significant things that happened this year, you know, obviously we're still in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic, which has raged on in this country for nine months now. So many people are dying because of this never before seen disease. And, you know, stuff like wearing a mask and, you know, working completely from home. Like, that's just 100% our reality now. And that's normal. When, you know, maybe a year ago that those things would have been considered absurd. And then, of course, there was the murder of George Floyd which, you know, took place maybe 15 blocks from where I live. <sighs> yeah, it, it's just, it's just been an exhausting year. It's been an exhausting year. 
and it's been a very reflective year but you know as exhausting and terrible as things have been this year like it's not, definitely not lost on me how lucky I am and I don't take that for granted you know I'm lucky to have a job that I love and that I'm able to work from home safely um, and I'm healthy and all my loved ones are healthy like I don't know, I, I, I can't ask for much more than that right now. But also, you know, upon reflecting, and despite all the terribleness, I find myself with hope. Feeling hope. Hopeful. Um, you know, the vaccine is here. It'll be a little bit until I personally can get it, because there are others that need it far more urgently than I do, and that's fine. Totally acknowledge that. Uh, but I can't wait to get juiced by this thing so I can start kissing everybody again. And I think a lot of the reflecting that's been happening by everybody this year uh, has been good, you know? A, a lot of it is identifying what's good and bad in the world, what's working and what isn't, and then just getting rid of what isn't working. So I have hope, and I am optimistic about what 2021 is going to bring. Okay, so I'm in my little studio area now. Um, I'll give you guys a little tour. Uh, here it is. It's a little messy right now, I apologize. Um, but uh, it's just because it's set up for the video I'm about to record. I have some heads up on the wall here. These are my uh, finals heads from 2015, 2016, and 2017 blue coats, uh, signed by all of the bangers, the blue bangers, uh, as well as the respective medals. Uh, this, of course, being the gold medal from 2016, the year in which we won. Let's see right here. This is the frame I just got at Target. Um, and inside of it is the sheet music from the Super Bowl halftime show performance with Justin Timberlake. Uh, and these are the sticks that I used for that performance. Uh, then up here we have 2015, 2016, 2017 finals performance sticks, uh, scoops, and stick bags <laughs> up there. It's pretty cool. So here I have my diploma um, from the University of Minnesota. I graduated summa cum laude with distinction, which means I am a genius. And, uh, but you know, of course you already knew that. And then up here, this is pretty cool. Uh, this is from the Broken City season. I, I have my finals head signed by all the snares, um, the WGI gold medal and SCPA gold medal hanging there. This is uh, the part of the uniform that we got to keep. And then my finals pair of Roger Carters and my finals pair of, of Tom Hannum pick low tips um, hanging on the wall as well. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That, of course, being the year in which we won WGI. Uh, okay, and then moving on. This is the um, splash symbol that we used in Blue Coats 2017. Uh, there were five of us in the snare line that uh, had to uh, play our snare drum with one of these on our head. Um, it created a pretty cool sound. Then this here, I actually just bought this snare drum. This was, um, I, I actually think the drum I used, the exact drum I used in high school. Um, the Eden Prairie Band Program just got new drums. Um, and so I was able, I had the opportunity to buy my old one and I had to do it. So uh, I'm actually gonna be using that in the video I'm about to make. Uh, and then of course, probably the main event here is the drum set, uh, the kind of disassembled uh, drum set. <laughs> uh, it's a Yamaha Stage Custom, I just got it. Um, it's probably like the best budget drum set that you can get. It's like a pretty nice sound that you can get out of this for, you know, less than $1,000. Yeah, I love it. And uh, I have pretty much all Zildjian cymbals. Um, and, and yeah, to record, I have a really basic like recording setup. Um, I, I, I just use a Yamaha EAD-10. It's just this kind of half mic, half trigger that hooks onto the bass drum that does a really good job of capturing the audio of the full drum set and then it goes into this thing right here which then plugs into the computer uh, and i'm able to record that way so um yeah i think that's pretty much it uh, it's a pretty basic setup it's a work in progress um, i definitely want to add on um, as i continue to 
uh, get better uh, um, at drumming and recording and all that. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to drumming and uh, making this video. Okay guys, I just finished recording. Um, it took a lot longer than I wanted it to, uh, but that's just kind of how these things tend to go, at least for me. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Um, sorry if it was a little boring. Uh, you know, there's not much going on right now, like I said, uh, but uh, hopefully it was fun to just kind of hang out. It was for me. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, maybe leave a comment down below. Maybe about how nice my new haircut is, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later.